guys, it's Miss Simpson, and it's time for social studies today. So yesterday, we talked about the office of the mayor and the city council. What does the city council do? What does the mayor do? And I even showed you pictures, and I introduced who our guest speaker is going to be next Friday. And yes, it is our city council place one, Corey Wins, who just happens to be my dad. So today, we're going to move up a little bit. So we talked about city, which is the smallest form that we have of government. Then we're going to talk about state, and that's what we're going to talk about today is state, and tomorrow we'll talk about our whole country. So today, we're going to talk about what is a governor. So if you haven't heard of the word governor, a governor is someone who was elected by the people to be the leader of that state. Every single state has a governor. So our governor is Greg Abbott, and that is the picture that you see on my screen right now. Our governor is Greg Abbott. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Greg Abbott, but let me continue to talk to you about the office of the governor and what Greg Abbott's job is. Um, a governor is voted into office by the people, just like the mayor and the city council. We vote for who we want to represent us. Um... He serves as the chief executive office of that particular state. Since we have 50 states in the United States, we have 50 governors. There is one governor for every single state. Greg Abbott just happens to be ours. The governor, Greg Abbott, is solely responsible for the entire state that he was elected to serve. That is a big responsibility to be in charge of a whole entire state. Um, our governor um, is currently Greg Abbott, just like I said. The governor of Texas is the chief executive of the state, and he is elected by the citizens every four years. This governor, he makes policy recommendations that lawmakers in both Texas House and Senate turn into bills. The governor, Greg Abbott, also appoints certain people for various jobs within the state. And other Texas constitutional duties that the governor does, he signs and vetoes bills. He's the commander of the Texas military forces. He convenes special sessions of legislature and he estimates state taxes, handles the Texas budget, and he has the ability to grant, grant pardons. So Greg Abbott, our governor, it has a lot of powers within the state of Texas. He's the head honcho of the state of Texas. He's got a lot of things that he's got to do. The job of the governor is actually laid out in our Texas Constitution. Greg Abbott is our 48th governor of Texas. He lives in the governor's mansion in Austin, Texas with his wife, Cecilia Abbott. Greg Abbott, like you see in the picture, was born in Austin, or in Wichita Falls, and he was raised in Duncanville. He graduated from the University of Texas, whoop, whoop, and he earned a law degree from Vanderbilt University. Shortly after graduating from law school, he was partially paralyzed by a falling tree with, while jogging. Before being governor, Greg Abbott was the 50th and longest serving attorney general of Texas, where he earned a national reputation for defending religious liberty and protecting Texas communities and children. He also served as a justice on the Texas Supreme Court and as a state district judge in Harris County. So Greg Abbott is from Texas, born and raised in Texas. He graduated from UNT and he went to law school at Vanderbilt. He has done a lot of things. He is continuing, like you see on his website right here, he has a very he has a record of being a very strong conservative leader who fights to preserve our Texas values. So let's take a look at this website right here. This is all about um, Governor Abbott, what he stands for, what his um, views are, and um just a little bit about him, just like right here. It says he, this is where it talks about he was born in Wichita Falls. He was paralyzed. He cannot walk um, from the waist down. On, while on a jog, a tree fell on him. And Cecilia, his wife, is a former teacher and principal, which is super cool to know. And they have a daughter named Audrey, and she's a recent college graduate. But this is our governor. Governors, you want to know the most biggest thing you want to know about a governor, and he is the head honcho of Texas. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about what he what he stands for, some of the pressing issues that he's been talking about. So 
Um, gov the governor's focus is ensuring that Texans have access to high quality health care, improving our public safety and getting Texans back to work because of everything that has been going on with COVID. Something else is he um, he wants Texas to be freer, stronger, safer and smarter by investing in our border security, reforming the child protective system, investing in high early and higher education and cutting billions of dollars in taxes to stimulate our job growth. Um, let's take a look at his wife. This is Cecilia Abbott and they call her Lady Cecilia Abbott. He's, she is our first lady, just like we have a first lady in office. Um, like I said, she was a teacher one time. She was a principal before. But today, my whole point of this lesson was to tell you just a little bit about Governor Abbott and what he does for Texas. So let's take a look at what your assignment is today. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to show you a picture of the governor's mansion. He lives in Austin, Texas, and he lives in this governor's mansion. Crazy. Is that not crazy? Look at that. Just because he's the governor. Very, very, very cool. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at your assignment for today. So it's very similar to what you did yesterday. It is called Civic Affairs. You're going to tell me who the current governor of Texas is, which I just told you it's Greg Abbott. What are the some things this governor has done for Texas? So that link that I just showed you, I am going to post it right down below so you can go take a look and find that answer for yourself. What are some things that you don't agree with and why don't you agree? So when you read through what the governor has done for Texas, what is something that you don't agree with? And guys, feel free to talk to your parents about this and get their opinions and their questions. That's perfectly fine. Then this one, because you don't agree, it is your duty to contact your governor and respectfully let them know what you don't agree with. So you can scan this QR code and it'll take you directly to where... Hold on. You can contact your governor if you want to or if your parent lets you. Um, next, your participation in historic preservation is important. How can we remember our history and keep our state great? What are you going to do as a fourth grader? And what are some service projects you can do around Texas, not just Azel, around Texas? Texas. So you're going to fill this out. I'm going to put the link right down below to Governor um, Greg Abbott's website so you can find some of the answers that you're looking for. And tomorrow we are going to talk about our president. All right, guys, I love y'all so much. Y'all have fun doing this and I will talk to you later. Adios.